Hello everyone, bonjour, bonsoir, welcome back for another video in November. This video will be about lock extensions and I'm just going to talk through one of my latest um, lock extension installs and this is kind of like the finished style so definitely stay tuned past this moment in the video to see more about this install. So basically we start off with dry clean or dirty hair my client's hair was clean but i didn't wash it before is what i'm saying um this is literally how i do it this doesn't have to be how another stylist does it other people have their own methods this is my method that i prefer so i'm starting with her handmade locks and i am going to attach them so what i do with her hair is i part it out first and i do the pre-parts to make sure that the uh, lock to part ratio or part to lock ratio is as ac accurate as possible and especially with her having different textures in her head the back is finer the top is not as fine and the very front is just, is even finer so we want to account for all of that so I pre-part everything not only to make sure that uh, the ratio is as accurate as can be but also to match it up with the locks that I have that way I can anticipate having to make more locks so whenever my clients order locks for their hair and I pretty much give them the estimate of what it would be, but it's not a definite number. When they come into the shop, if they need three, four more locks, I will make those three, four more locks on their head. If they don't need as many, then they don't need as many. Um, so pretty much this is all of her hair sectioned out, ready to go. And I'm just going to go through and attach her extensions. As you can see, the parts vary, but not by much. They vary based on her hair texture. And a lot of people get confused about this. When they when their hair is parted, they want every single square to be the very same measurement throughout their head. But our hair is not the same texture throughout our head. So the hair in the middle of your head will not be the same texture, at least for most people, as the hair in the back of your head. For most people, all the hair that I've done throughout my life, um, the back of the head is always the least density, it has, it has the least density when it comes to strands of hair. So this is pretty much the progress and I'm going to cut to a clip where I show you guys pretty much what I do. And I just keep going row by row until I finish. I believe this particular install took me about six hours, but that is start to finish. That includes washing, retwisting, and styling the hair. So because her hair is stretched and long, and I want to create that girth. I want to create that packed, uh, nat uh, mature lock um, effect. I back comb it very lightly because she has afro hair, so there's no need to crazy back comb. Back comb very lightly. And then I'm going to add her locks. But I, I do like kind of like an assembly line thing for myself when I do long services like this. So I go through and I prep. The whole head as you see I don't go one by one I go through if I need to back home I go through and back home everything in that in that specific row still keeping everything up so nothing is in my way and once everything is back home then I go in and I start attaching locks so I kind of do things like that just to um, organize my time and make sure that I'm not taking too much time on the client's hair but I still am as efficient as possible so as I said once I'm done Back combing the last one, I go ahead and I start attaching. And as far as attaching, you guys can go back and watch all my other um, lock extension videos and see what my comments are on, on attaching. But it hasn't really changed. I've changed the types of needles that I use. I've changed um, pretty much how I approach attaching. And when I teach attaching to other people, like I said in a previous video, I give them the fundamentals. I give them, you know, pretty much what is the intention here? What are we doing here? But you have to really put your own spin on it. And um, as I said before, I'm going to be giving classes. I'm going to be offering classes in person and online. I'm going to have pre-recorded classes that you can access whenever you want. But they will be extremely detailed to where if you are someone who cannot make it physically, you will still have great a great piece of content that you can access and learn from. So pretty much this is me attaching the hair right here. I start, and I'm moving a little fast, but that's for obvious reasons, but I start by adding the client's hair to the mature, quote unquote, mature part of the lock extension. 
to make sure we get a really good attachment and I do this for all of them I kind of prep them I don't finish them off I do the entire row like this and I do this because like I said I've been doing this for a while so I kind of give myself an assembly line type of organization and once I get to attaching I use my needle and I'm pretty much doing a very repetitive motion so that's why I sped it up um, I use my triple needle um, my Daxling Lux triple needle you guys can find it on my in my Etsy shop link is in the description just go to the Etsy shop you will find the needles um, so I use this first to do the bulk of the attaching and then I go back through with a single needle to clean everything up to get as much frizz in as possible And here is the progress right here showing you guys a little progress and then we move on and pretty much what I showed you is what I did throughout her entire head um, this is her whole head done and we're gonna go to the wash bowl from here and I posted a short with this particular client and you guys wanted to know why did I wash her lock extensions and I wash her lock extensions because that's part of my process and I always wash hair when I um, do locks so not only is it to provide the service of washing the hair but it's also to go back and check my work check to make sure the locks are secure they're attached properly and if anything is slipping from the wash I can correct it before I do her retwist so here I'm using my brand new oil that will be coming out very soon for my hair care line Biologics or Biologics, however you want to say it. Um, and I have already oiled her scalp. Very light oil, retwist oil. I did not use any gel on her hair, just the oil. And that is the finished product right there. Well, not really because we did a style, but that is the retwist, that is the locks. Um, from her, her hair started off with such good length. That's why I always my, want my clients to have as much length as possible. Um, so we had no slippage after the wash. Everything was fine. I made sure I checked every lock. Um, so this is like a cute little style I'm doing for her and I promise it's not tight. I oh, I'm tender headed myself, but when I do a style on my clients, I always ask as I go, am I pulling anything? If I felt like something was a little tight, I ask, am I pulling? Is it pulling? Let me know. Let me know because once you leave the chair, I promise it will be way tighter than it's feeling right now. <laughs> and so that's how I make sure my client is comfortable and her hair is fine. So as you can see, it, it, it looks neat but it, that doesn't mean it's tight. And I go back through to, and if I feel like something is tight, even if the client didn't tell me it's tight, I try to loosen it. But this is pretty much her style, and I'm going through it really quick. It's a pretty simple style. Um, even with the fast forwarding, it's pretty easy to follow. I will also have styling videos available for um, classes and training, and of course, in-person classes for styling. So do not fret. I will touch on this stuff again. This is just to share this install with you guys. It was a very nice install. I was happy with the end result. Uh, my client was super sweet. She traveled from far. I don't remember the state because most of my, 50% of my clientele travels to me. So I don't remember the state, but I know it was far that she traveled from. She was a very sweet soul. And I was happy to be able to install her lock extensions for her. Alright, and that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with No Break November. If I miss a day, I'll make up for it by uploading, double uploading or whatever it is. And I, I'll, I'm also uploading shorts um, in lieu of videos because I do want to, when I post an actual video, I want it to be quality content. So shorts will be in lieu of videos on the days that I cannot or I'm, I'm too busy to actually post a full video. Um, and any product that you saw in this video, go to the link in the description box. You can either find it in my Amazon store or my Etsy store. The shampoo that I use on her is in my Etsy shop. It is my brand new shampoo. It is a deep cleansing Moringa, Moringa shampoo. The oil is not quite out yet. Uh, the shampoo brush can be found in my Etsy shop. And lock extensions as well. Lock extensions can be find, found in my Etsy shop as well. Sometimes I have them already made. Sometimes 
you all will have to wait for them to be handmade if what you're asking for isn't already available. So please bear with us um, when it comes to that. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, everything is in the link below to book everything. Not the link below, the description below. <laughs> Thank you guys. See you next time.